So the water pump leaking on this thing. Uh, let me see if I can get it on there. Right up in here is dripping. So we gonna swap it out. Okay. <laughs> All right, got the the thing off. All right now. All right, this the before and after. I'm trying to get the back show how rusty it is. This the gasket that came off. I don't trust this little paper one, but we gonna try it. I don't trust it at all. Not even a little bit. All right, y'all, I haven't been able to record because I've been working the whole time and my tripod is not set up yet. So you'll have to forgive me, but I got the old one out, new ones in. Um, this isn't a how-to video. This is just really showing like, I don't trust that paper gasket. Yeah, if dude says that that's the correct gasket to use, and that's what we're going to use. Um, if it don't work, I'm going to drive back over there and bust his head open. So, y'all going to be able to see that. But Oh, my fault. Let me back up, y'all. This is the Bentley, by the way. You know. Whatever this car wants, it gets. All right. Got it on there. Got it running. Got cooling in there. It's warming up. All right. So, we got done with the Impala. Now, on the van. <laughs> and, I don't know if you can see this. This pipe is what decided to break because it's plastic. So, thanks to the engineers at General Motors, plastic gets brittle over the years through all the heating and cooling cycles and eventually it just breaks. All right. I got these two mounts disconnected, you know, pretty simple. Is I, I hook to this point here, and then I'll hook it down here somewhere, and I'm just going to ratchet it. It's going to pull the whole motor forward. So. Oh, wait. You got to keep these up, though, out of the way. But see how it's just going to rock that whole engine forwards. It's going to move the car a little bit because the transmission and all that's still connected, but it's fine. It's just gonna give me a couple more inches of room. Yeah, now I can see a lot easier what I'm doing. Yeah, this wiper arm's gonna have to come out of the way just because it'll give me that much more room and I need every little bit I can get. So I hate that these engines are designed like this, honestly. But I mean, it's just, if the front of the car was like a little longer, and you can access everything, I'd be okay with that. If it just looked a little more goofy, that's fine. Oh. Yeah, now we can get in there. All I gotta do, I'm just trying to get this clamp, which I don't know why they put the clamp on the bottom, you know. So that's gonna make it fun trying to get to that. But, we'll get it. Whew. This piece is gonna fight me. But I managed to get it spun around. Um, I had previously dropped the pliers back there, but luckily I got them. Um, this is like, and then you know I'm by I'm right by traffic. People keep driving past, and let's see if I can get it. I had a bigger player, I had a bigger pair of pliers, but the airport confiscated them from me. So <laughs> there we go. I gotta be careful because all that plastic back there is brittle. Okay. Well, as you can expect, I got that piece to come off with the other piece still inside of it. So, looks like I'll be fixing that too. Um, I don't know why they made these out of plastic. I, I didn't want to mess with it. I really should have just left it. I don't know why I did that. I should have just disconnected this piece down here and then cut this hose and reconnected it to that piece and left it. But when I was wiggling this around, I heard something crack. So I already figured that that probably went. Um, all right, well, we'll just keep pushing. We don't have a choice now. Okay, so 
I got the clamps all moved on this one and that one. Now, I'm going to try to remove this, and I don't want it to break like the other ones broke inside of this hose, because I'm not replacing this hose. So, I'm going to try to spray some soapy water on the inside of the tube, and hopefully it'll get down in there to where I can just break the suction loose. I'm just going to spray. I can't really even get back there to it. I'm just going to spray everything. And hopefully, hopefully it'll soak down in there, but let's see if we can just pry that back a little bit. Yeah. So, I don't know where I last updated that, but again, the T broke. That's fine. Um, let's see if it'll focus. It broke off inside of this one, so I'm probably going to have to replace this entire hose. At first, I was just like, oh, okay, maybe I can just... But no, I'll just replace the entire hose. This one is struggling. I'm trying to twist it off. I could just unclamp it there and do it outside the vehicle, but I'm trying to take the least amount of stuff apart as possible. Um, so far, I can have it turn. I was able to lift this and spray some soapy water down in there. And this turns, um, and I'm pulling it out slowly but surely. I feel like it's all intact, so I'm going to keep working on it. I'm not going to lie to y'all phone is low-key in the way but I can work around it okay this is what I've been doing I'll just peel back a little bit Try my best to spray in there. See, it twists pretty easy. This thing is so brittle. I'm pulling as I twist. I feel like it's about to come out. I've been working on it for 10 minutes. I can feel it. Yeah, that's what that is. Come on. The water's getting down in there. Each turn I go. I feel it coming a little more. Either that or I'm imagining it. Okay. So I'm at a stopping point. Um, I was going to try to take off this hose right here, but it's not happening. I took it off with the, I took the clamp off. I tried everything, twisting, pulling, yanking, everything. It's not coming off. So I put the clamp back. Um, what I'm gonna do instead is, which I hope that this one isn't, this one's probably destroyed too, but I hope it's not leaking or anything because I've been wiggling this around trying to get to this. What I hope is, here's what I'm gonna do. Because I have all this stuck in there from the old piece, I'm gonna just cut it down here and splice in a new line uh, they make these little connectors for them and then I'm gonna just run a new line and leave that in connected same with this end I'll leave it connected run my new line to the T connector and then for this I have to get a quick connect disconnect tool to disconnect it from this pipe here and I'll try to buy the original pipe because it was only $11 um, so I'll run that to that Connect the T's all together, um, clamp it all down, hopefully everything's sealed, and hopefully this one's good. I'm not messing with this one at all. I don't want that one to go anywhere. So hopefully that one's fine. I know I probably should replace everything while I'm in here, but I'm not trying to do that again. Um, I'm just going to ride like that. And then I'll put the coolant back in. This is taking longer than I expected, but I'll get it done. All right, I'm on the way. Going to go get the part. I have to drive 30 minutes because nobody else has it. So continue on. I don't know what happened, but like I got I stuck something in my hand during that install, and I don't know what, but I can feel something in my finger. But we are on the way. It's crazy. I get all of this because this one piece broke. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh. 
Well then. We got all the parts, except for we need one more hose connection piece to splice those lines together. I need one more. He didn't have it. I don't know who has it. Just got pulled over, man. We will see. All right, y'all, he let me go. I just got a warning. Back to the task at hand. All right, y'all, I'm gonna get this put back together real quick. All right, after fighting forever. Is this zoomed in? I feel like it's zoomed in. Let me show up. After fighting forever, I got this piece off. And I don't know if it was because of the quick connect, disconnect tool or whatever, or if just, I broke it with the screwdriver, I don't know. But now I'm gonna splice all my lines together, put this back together. All right, y'all, it's another day. Let me show y'all what we got going. So. I connected everything. Now I know somebody somewhere is gonna be like, oh my gosh, what did you? But I hope it I hope it works. I really don't care. You know, this van, I got this van super cheap, so it doesn't matter. Um this outlet goes to the T right here. Okay. And I got these two connections here. This one runs around and goes into there. Uh, I left everything on the firewall and I literally just spliced it right in. So hopefully nothing leaks over there. Then uh, over here, the other side, I did the same thing back there. I spliced it in. Let me see if I can yeah. really get you back there. You can see where the old hose ended here. I just cut it, put a little joint connection piece, and then added the new hose. There's two clamps here, just because that one was already there. I just said whatever. And hopefully, I know it's a mess, but hopefully everything works. Um, this top T right here got wiggled around a lot when I was working, so hopefully nothing on this one is broke, because I know if I have to take this one apart, it's probably gonna crumble like the other one did. Um, but right now I got everything basically ready to go. Um, I'm just gonna bleed the system out through here. Um, if I need to, I'll use the, the valves here, but I probably won't have to, hopefully. Um, yeah, let's let this engine sit back in its natural position. Well, didn't mean to do it like that, but whatever. I was trying to ease it back, but well. Let's get all this out the way. We're going to start it up, test it. But before I do that, I always double check and make sure I have everything out of the hood. I don't want, I don't want anything to be in the wrong spot. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. See, this is why I double check everything. So ignore those noises. There's a vacuum leak somewhere. This, I gotta connect this to the brake booster. I forgot about that, see? I would've had a problem. I really feel like there should be a clamp on that, but whatever. Only one way to know is once it gets warm, and we'll see from there. Because obviously, it's not gonna be running immediately. It's only when it warms up. Because before it was all spewing, you can see where it was spewing all over the hood and you know. All right, so it's not leaking, but there's no coolant flowing. I know what it is. Let me shut it off. That would be a water pump, my friend. I don't wanna get too close. Yeah, it's bubbling. Okay. That's what it is. It was the water pump on this car. And now it's the water pump on this one. Um, I'm going to swap it out. And hopefully everything is good and runs and all that. Because this has been going on for too long. You know, I've been down for what two days doing all this but it'll be worth it once it's back together oh my gosh all right you guys i got it I told y'all i'm gonna get it i couldn't record because this phone died all right so brand new water pump it used to leak it used to spray out over here it doesn't do that no more 
I got this, all my hoses and cables and stuff. Here, let me shut this thing off. Okay. So, all my lines back there that I spliced together, that I'm sure somebody would say looks terrible. I got that together. Got the new thermostat on. Have to make sure I don't see nothing dripping out. Everything looks good. Um. Whew. That was a job.